Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the wonderful area of Liverpool, Old Swan. Now if you were watching my video last Friday, I went into every TK Maxx inside the city of Liverpool to look for bargains that I could resell on eBay. And I had a few comments on that video recommending me go to a few charity shops and see what I could buy to again put up on eBay. And it's funny that I got a few recommendations to do this because that was exactly what I was planning to do on today's video. I'm with the wonderful Ksenia. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Today, dear, we need to find some bargains in Old Swan. Let's go. Yes. Welcome, YouTube, to Prescott Road, Old Swan, the home of many charity shops. And we'll start off at Woodlands Hospice. So if you actually want to see what someone sells for on eBay, you can scan the barcode. So for example, it says 25 pound there, it's one pound here. So if I scan this barcode here, well, that's actually Ukrainian language. So these do seem to be going for like, well, once they went for 20 pound and then the other ones, they accepted offer. So it doesn't say how much it was accepted for, but it's at least postage for a pound. So um, this is one pound, as you can see, it was a fiver, but originally 25, we'll take it. I found this, it was sold for six or seven pounds and it costs three. Next off, we have the British Heart Foundation. Some cool looking items in the window, let's go. Okay, so what I can say about charity shops so far is the energy in charity shops is quite low. Quite a dead energy in these charity shops. So in order to bring to life this video, I'm gonna set you a challenge. You have one minute, Ksenia, to find something for 10 pounds and I will do the same. And no matter what it is, you have to buy it for either. Deal. Should I check if it's fine for it? No, just pick something. <laughs> Let's go, Mary Curie. Right, your minutes up. What did you go for? So, shish. Okay. I saw it. It was sold for. What? Yes. Oh no. What? And that's, a, that's the best pick of today so far. And this. Yeah. I, I, I took it because I saw here. Oh yeah. Good picks. Good picks then. How much is that one? Six. And okay. this is six. Yeah, good. I'm happy with that. You know what, Ksenia? I think so far you've got the best things. So what's this? Marilyn Monroe picture? Yeah, from Disney Parks. But when we looked at Disney Parks on eBay, some of the stuff's going for hundreds, isn't it? Yeah. And the other thing you got, what was that? No, it's just like you know, some kind of collection. Like Leonardo collection. And what did that sell for? £34 or something like that. She's, she's doing well so far. I gotta, gotta hand it to you. One more charity shop to see, British Red Cross. Uh, so far I'm pretty happy with what we've got today. Some risks have been taken, but let's go into this last one and see what we can do.
<laughs> right, yeah, pretty positive on some of those buys. Now I'm gonna get home, put some of them on eBay, and also have a little look at what I think they could sell for. Hello guys, now to go over what we purchased in the five charity shops. So first we went into Woodlands Hospice where we picked up two of these plume and drop caps. Now if you don't know what a drop cap is, it's a cap that you put on your light bulbs that hang down of course. Now as you can see, these drop caps were originally £25 and then in the charity, the shop, they were selling for a fiver. That got crossed off and they were selling for £1. So we picked them up £1 each and uh, they've been selling on eBay between 10 and 15 pair plume and drop cap. So I put it up on eBay with a starting bid of 8.99. I put them up together because it'd be better to get rid of both at once and hopefully we find a sale for them too. Good purchase. Now Ksenia also got this. This is a bonsai trio kit. Um, it is a plant theater to plant a bonsai tree. They're pretty cool to be honest. Now these sell on eBay between six and 10 pound. We picked it up for free. We put it on eBay ourselves for uh, 8.99 starting bids. Maybe we'll get lucky with that. And I was quite disappointed going into the British Heart Foundation until I left and saw this in the window. Now this Hermione Granger snow globe has sold on eBay in I think the last 30 days for $14.99 and that's exactly what I put it up on eBay for. Then we went to Bernardo's where I picked up two vinyls that I just picked up out of a whim thinking who knows they could sell for a lot. I'm not very optimistic after looking at eBay. I bought them for a pound each. I put them off for eight pound and five pound. But again, I'm not very optimistic. And in Bernardo's, I also picked up this Armani exchange shirt. It's quite nice, as you can see. I picked up that for eight pounds. I put it on eBay for 19.99. Not super optimistic about that. Eight pounds, quite a lot for a charity shop purchase. But who knows, Armani exchange shirts have sold second hand for that price before. So fingers crossed. I then set Ksenia a £10 challenge in Mary Curie, which she spent £12. Women, hey. But what can I say, she picked up some good items. Here we have William Norris Strawberry Thief five-piece gift set uh, with mugs and placemats. And she picked that up for £6. Well, I picked it up, she picked it. Now this is sold on eBay quite recently for 18 pounds, so I'm super impressed with what she went for. She also picked up this Disney Parks Marilyn Monroe signature card. And um, this is literally from Disney Parks in Florida. I don't know if you can read it, but it was 21.95 originally. And the cool thing about Disney Parks is um, a lot of the things resell on eBay I've saw for quite a lot but I haven't saw this particular item so I've put it up for $19.99 starting bid fingers crossed we could get that for a good price also six pounds and this is what I picked up another six pound item and looking back not the best item of the day in terms of profit we've got this 1902 state Lindau um, the Queen Silver Jubilee figure picked it up because it looks kind of cool even though the packaging's quite damaged it looks like a cool collectible and uh, I've just noticed there's a guy off the horse which brings the value down a little bit more as cool as this is it's not sold on eBay for much more than I paid for it so um, yeah I put it up for $14.99 but again not too optimistic we picked up some more vintage items in a British Red Cross where we picked up some placemats, car placemats. Some classic cars right there. And this was $1.99 for all of them. Uh, honestly, I forgot what I put them up on eBay for, but I also put up this German beer stain. I didn't know what this is when I picked it up. It just looked like a cool in ornament, which it is. Look how cool that is. Um, I picked that up for $1.99 and put it on eBay for $14.99. Now they usually sell at the £10 mark for the German beer stains. Um, so yeah, I think this was a good buy and I also think it's a very cool item. Last but not least, we picked up these plates at £1.59 each. Just a beautiful collection and these are selling on eBay for around £8. I love this one here. 
So yeah, I've uploaded the money eBay for 9.99 each. And then uh, now guys, it's time to wait. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to wait for a little while to do a recap for these items, see what they sold for, along with the TK Maxx items, because I admit they haven't sold yet after a week. I'm going to be patient. I'm just starting off this reselling thing, and I know that it's going to take a little while for me to find some rhythm. Any advice anyone would like to give me, feel free to comment down below. Also, guys, I drop three new videos a week. You don't want to miss them. Next one, day in the life of an Amazon driver on monday see you guys there don't forget to subscribe bye